What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I came across this article, man, and this Twitter exchange that Shannon Sharp had with a comedian by the name of Paul Shear. Now, Shannon Sharp was doing his usual, being a Lakers fan and going at uh, Clippers fans, right? Paul Shear responds to him. He responds by making fun of this guy's teeth. Obviously, it's a sore spot for this guy because he then came back and talked about how his girlfriend or Shannon Sharp's ex-girlfriend left. He he sees why his ex-girlfriend left him for uh, Marlon Bird. And Marlon Bird is a former baseball player. What's interesting about this storyline is that I actually made a video about this almost four years ago. I made a video on my JDB TV channel. No, it's 2018, so it's almost four years ago. Maybe about three and a half. About how Shannon Sharp's ex moved on to a new guy and they're having a kid together after just one year of dating. As you can see the likes and dislikes, there were people who did not like what I had to say about Shannon Sharp because this was at the height of Shannon Sharp's popularity with woke social media which is whatever i don't care but it's funny how i had made a video about this situation in 2018 i was ahead of the curve and now in 2021 it is brought to light by this guy <laughs> so we gonna get into this bro bible article says FS1 host Shannon Sharp made the mistake of getting into getting into it with a professional comedian and things didn't go too well for him. On Saturday, Sharp, who is a Lakers super fan, mocked Clippers fans on Twitter while responding to an angry fan. And this person here uh, says, I love Shannon Sharp, but this is foul. Having just interviewed loyal Clipper fans and going to multiple regular season and playoff games, among those thousands of others, this is a false narrative. I guess he was talking about, I guess he was responding to what he had to say. And he says, Clippers fans are only family members and friends of family members of Clippers players. Nice try, though. So Paul Shear came in almost like he was in defense of Clipper Nation Kelly. And uh, he, he also starred in the sitcom The League. If you know. With this gif that comeback took you two hours. So I guess he was monitoring Shannon Sharp's social media. Shannon Sharp says, that's still less time than it would take a dentist to close that gap between your teeth. And that really set this guy off. <laughs> that set this guy off to him to say, uh, here, let's see if I can get to it. With comebacks like that, I get why your girlfriend picked Marlon Bird. And that really stung Shannon Sharp. And uh, Shannon Sharp comes back with her. Your two front teeth seems like they got divorced or at least separated. Sheer went on to ruthlessly remind Sharp about the time his girlfriend left him. As you can see here, man. Sharp tried to make another joke about Shear's tooth gap, but the fight was over. So I said, y'all want to see a dead body. I didn't know that Paul Shear versus Shannon Sharp beef was exactly what I needed, but it is. A series showed me the difference between funny for a professional athlete and funny as a career. Someone call an ambulance. Yeah, man, you're not going to win too many go back and forth with comedians. Comedians, uh, this is what they do for a living. This is what they they make fun of people. And Shannon Sharp is very opinionated and he puts himself in these particular situations. Now, should he, this guy have gone there with Shannon Sharp's ex? I think that's a low blow. But again, these these comedians don't have an off button unless they're talking about politics, then they have an off button. But in regards to to uh, Shannon, that's something that these people knew. And the thing is, you didn't really hear a lot about Shannon Sharp's ex-girlfriend. 
I spoke about this situation in 2018, but Paul Shear used that as a way to attack and di disarm Shannon Sharp and also clown him at the same time. You see, people know things about these guys, but they hold it off until they really want to use it. It's as if Paul Shear chose, chose some semblance of violence that morning, <laughs> that day. You know, well, it was more, it was early in the morning because this guy, they're tweeting at each other nine something in the morning. I guess Eastern Standard, maybe that's, you know, West Coast time is different. I don't know. Maybe it's a time difference. But these guys are up early going at each other. And the thing is, Shannon Sharp's dating life has been a bit of a joke. Let's go to an article from, uh, let's see. Let's go to an article from Mad Noir, right? This was 2017. His dating life and his preferences have always been a topic of conversation. As you can see in this article, it says, well, let's get it quickly. Shannon Sharp defends dating preferences after publicly crushing on Nicole Murphy. Now, he, I guess, had a, a crush with Nicole Murphy, took a photo with her. And then people are quick to remind him that we don't think you like black women like that. So let's talk about his article real quick. Because as previously mentioned, former NFL player and current undisputed co-host Shannon Sharp has a thing for Nicole Murphy. He spent his time lawning, uh, fawning over her for most of this year, both on air and through his social media accounts, and finally had the chance to meet her and spend time with her at a workout class recently. But just as quick as these two could have a possible cute couple moment we were meant we were reminded that sharp's relationship status isn't necessarily clear he hasn't said for sure that he's single and at least time we checked earlier this year he was reportedly engaged a long time love and flywheel fitness instructor katie kellner with whom he shares three dogs uh so with all that in mind maybe his attempts to get at her to get at with get with Murphy were just sharp showing off his sense of humor. But some on Twitter aren't finding him and his dating habits too funny. A woman commented on what she feels is a double standard, pointing out that while Sharp, who is outspoken about political issues and activism in sports, isn't deemed a sellout of sorts for dating white women. There have reportedly been more than one. Women like Serena Williams and Halle Berry are berated with the usual hotel insults. That's not true. Um, nobody goes... Black, uh, melanated men, for the most part, don't go at Serena Williams for who she's dating. They don't care. But y'all seem to care about Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp didn't invite anybody into his personal space. But people, especially a lot of you, you melanated females, you care a lot about who these athletes are dating because you want to be with these guys. These guys are the number one choice if you had their options. And the fact that, they, you know, they're not, you know, they wouldn't check for you. And then you see who they're dating. You feel some type of way. As well, the 49-year-old didn't appreciate such observations and responded by stating that he doesn't have to prove anything to anybody through the individuals with whom he chooses to date. Not that it's your business or anyone else's damn business who I date. I don't date for approval and I don't need you or others to confirm who or what I am. Enjoy your day. Uh, I guess he was responding. But see, that's the that's the box that, that uh, Shannon Sharp puts himself in, unfortunately. Shannon Sharp puts himself in a box to where he's out here speaking up for people, right? Speaking up for black people. They're going to want to know if you were a black woman. I don't think that's. I don't think that that's totally wrong because again, when you're opinionated about other groups of people and how they treat you as because of your race, then people are going to say, okay, well, why are you dating that, that white woman? But this is very common. It was very common practice, but again, I don't care. Um, but when you look at Shannon Sharp, his past is always going to come back to bite him. The only reason why uh, this insult stung was because she probably did leave Shannon Sharp. I believe she may have left Shannon. And not only did she get with this other guy, Marlon Bird, but she had a kid with this guy 
within a year of dating him her and shannon was together for years and they didn't have any children but as soon as she got with marlon bird she was pregnant within a year which means they probably they probably were I, I wouldn't say she was cheating on shannon i don't know but they probably were cool with each other right when she was with shannon and as soon as she left shannon that's when she got with him uh because they hadn't been broken up that long her and shannon so maybe she was maybe there was infidelity that's why you know that may have stung because that could have been a, a more he could have hit back with something more than just talking about teeth <laughs> but i think he was caught off guard maybe shannon doesn't care maybe shannon doesn't care but she moved on hella fast she moved on hella fast man which there are some might be some questions there but you know i'm not gonna go there right now but i know that this 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 had this thing man and look at the ratio man look at the likes 3.5 thousand likes on this none of the other tweets shannon sharp has on this has anywhere near that because there were people who genuinely did not know that sh that shannon sharp's ex-girlfriend uh got with marlon bird and she may have left shannon to be with marlon because you know, she got pregnant kind of fast <laughs> You know, that, that's all I would say on that, man. But uh, y'all let me know what you think in the comments section below. Like this video, share it. Check out the new Patreon exclusive. I'll see y'all in the next one.